Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. I am in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, as you can tell by all the boxes in the back, um, Roman and I did a show here, the Afton Community Center Flea Market. We didn't do very well, but it's only open from eight until one, which I didn't realize. I thought it was gonna be like all day. But anyway, today, is Monday and oh, it's Monday for me. It might be Monday for you if I can get enough stuff done and get this edited and up tonight. I am going to head to the Goodwill Bins uh, or the Outlet Center, as some of you may call it, here in St. Louis and see how it's different because all of them are different. This one definitely has different hours. They're only open from 10 to one and then they close from one to three, and then they're open from three to six. So that's quite different. Um, some Goodwills have, you can go in and you buy everything by the pound, but you pay a certain price for electronics. Some stores you go in and you can buy glass, so many pieces for a set amount, you know, like 20 pieces for $10 or something like that. Um, neither one of those are the Goodwill outlet that I go to in Indiana and so I don't know anything about this Goodwill outlet um, except the hours so this will be new for us so come along and I'll try to give you some tips and tricks while you shop the bins and if I miss any let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the blink of an eye as you can tell I came in and dug right in this is a cute little plastic toolbox and I am going to put it in my cart because I think we'll probably use it for a cash box if Roman and I continue to do shows and yes there's a wicker lamp in my cart but it does not stay there so the first question you need to ask yourself about the bins is do you want to wear gloves and or do you want to wear a mask um, it's usually quite dusty in there I don't think that Goodwill washes the things that go in the bins. I personally have never run into anything that was nasty or gross. They did have a sign up saying that there was broken glass and they would not be responsible for it. And this little metal thing right here I thought was so cute because I thought it would be a nice display piece or something to use for display if Roman and I continue to do shows, but it didn't fold up. If it doesn't fold up and become compact, I don't want to carry around a whole bunch of heavy stuff. And I have great camera work. Look at that. I don't know what it is I'm looking at or what I'm trying to reach for, but there's a cute picture and I'll try to put up some stickers or something up there. There was wood in the bins, there was paper in the bins, there is electrical items in the bin, and it has a ceiling. <laughs> and there was a cute little child in that cart that went by and I decided to cut it out because there might be an adult picture face on the video, but I am not about to put a child's face on one of my videos. Not gonna happen just for their privacy. Um, there's a dehumidifier, there's a planter, uh, there's a little whatnot box, plastic one, there's stuffed animals, there's Christmas wreaths, Christmas toys, desk, there was a stroller. I found stuff in this bin store that I have never found in the bins before. There was a tent. I don't know what that thing is, so if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. That white thing, I know what the xylophone is. Um... I found a tent, I found a air mattress, I found all kinds of baby toys, big baby toys, strollers. There was huge pieces of art in here. Um, there were wooden shelves. There's baby dolls, there's this wreath that you're looking at made out of clothespins. Um, this was a skateboard and I decided not to get it and this huge plastic airplane had somebody's name on it and I don't know what 
what show it goes to. There were teddy bear. There was at the front, and maybe I have it toward the end of the video, but up toward the front, they have huge TVs that are for sale. And this is a Fisher Price. And if it had been in better shape, I might have looked it up, but it's so worn on the top that I'm not going to look it up. Look, is that Winnie the Pooh? There's a vintage jewelry box. But my goal is to get things that have a better return on investment and things that have a better sell-through rate. And this is what you do. You just go from one bin to the next bin, and you dig, and you search. You need to decide, do you just want to skim the top? Do you want to dig for the big stuff? Do you want to see what the little stuff is? Do you want to dig all the way to the bottom? This is some stuffed animals, none of which were appealing enough for me to put in the cart to look up later or to stop and look up right there. Now that little penguin is a pillow pet and I do have the large one. And I did think about getting the small one and putting it together with the large one. But this one has the lights that shine up and make stars and shapes on the ceiling and it didn't work and I didn't want to check to see whether it had a battery in it or not. This is some kind of paper that's waxed on one side and regular paper on another side. More stuffed animals. Uh, there are notebooks. There are shoe caddies. I think I said shells before. Here's a pretty little shiny fishy. And because this Goodwill, they put out their bins at 10 a.m. and they open and they leave the bins out. Those are the bins you get from 10 a.m. until 1. So whatever you want to dig in, you have from 10 a.m. until 1 to go through all the bins or to go through all the books or go through all of the clothes. And then they shut down, they take all the bins away, they put out new bins, they have new bins at 3 o'clock, and they're open from 3 until 6. So there are no vultures. It's not like everybody's waiting for the new bins to come out. People aren't rushing one section of the store. There are no elbows being thrown. It was absolutely fantastic. Anybody need an ironing board? Look, it's a full-size ironing board, and there's always hangers. Always hangers. And this was a government and political politics um, advanced placement set, but it was old and that kind of stuff. Usually the professors and teachers want the newest edition, and that was an older one. Uh, it is a DVD player, and I could not get it pulled out. All these cords back here are just an absolute mess. I pulled and pulled. I even turned off the camera and pulled and pulled and couldn't get it out. And metal, all kinds of metal stuff. There's an Instapot. There's artwork. There's a Fisher Price Farm. It's the one of the newer ones, so I didn't look it up either. And more hangers. Look at that. Surprise, surprise. And when you get hangers and cords together, it just makes a real mess. That's a cute little bag, but not for resale and not for me. And that was holiday napkins or holiday tablecloth. A wire basket, which was kind of cute, but I just don't need one. Not something that... I am looking for. Um, that is a horse that I do have the match of. At home I have the big one. And I am going to put the two of them together to make a pair and sell as a pair. Um, there is a cast iron griddle there. And this little guy, I could not figure out what movie or what show he came from. And I'm trying to read the tag and I don't have very good camera work right there. But... Um, with scary monsters or something and I hadn't heard about it I probably you can tell me I probably should have put it in my cart and looked it up later and this little guy was a fill up filler up something like that like it reminded me of you throw the balls and you feed the dog or whatever and it 
the stomach gets big and you win um, tickets at Chuck E. Cheese's. But there is another one. And it's kind of old and beat up and got so much dust on it. And ugh. You know, and you have to decide how much ickiness do you want to deal with? How much dirt do you want to deal with? When you're looking at the shoes that are at the bins, um, do you are you only going to pick out clean ones? How much dirt can be on the bottom of the shoe? How many scuffs can be on the shoe? How much wear can be on the sole of the shoe? And this was one of those bins you have to look at. And how much do you want to dig? And I knew that I didn't have the full three hours to dig through everything. I don't know who this guy is. I thought maybe it was Scooby-Doo, but it's not. And um, I had to do a little bit more selective um, digging. Another Instapot and a clock radio. Now, the Instapots, I don't know how you would know that they work except to be able to plug them in and see that the light comes on. And I really need to find out whether Instapots have a resale value. Look, there's a bunt pan. Make a bunt cake. There's another little storage bag, but it wasn't name brand. Wasn't anything special. Didn't have any wonderful design on it. Um, a really cool long fire truck. And this was just too much stuff for me to dig through well and this one I'm like well I could get to the bottom I could see what's on the bottom because sometimes there's stuff on the bottom the little stuff does fall to the bottom uh, there were some vinyl records there and um, I'm gonna grab this Bible and I'm gonna put it in my cart to look up later because Bibles do sell well in fact I already I have a commentary in there and that Bible I'm gonna look those up and it doesn't matter who tells you what you need to be very particular about what you decide to look for because anybody can tell you that Nike sell but it doesn't mean that all Nike sell and anybody can tell you that video games sell but not all video games sell now we all know Mario Kart sells wouldn't that be wonderful if I could find a Mario Kart game in here there's a walker there with a wheelchair this place has one whole wall of bikes this was a Honda mat set and um, I thought about getting it and then I realized how dirty it was and I decided I didn't want to get it these are those pl big plastic tuppers that have the big drawers in them and it looks like a recipe box and some of this stuff curtains you just never know what you're gonna find this Tupper had stuff in it it was like yarn and I thought about maybe getting that to keep jewelry in but I decided I have two I like the two I have they're not full that's all I'm gonna get and um, this sewing box intrigued me because I thought maybe it was a vintage that it was from the 1970s and I thought I'm gonna take it and look it up later that's another thing you need to decide I think we're on three or four uh, you need to decide are you gonna that was actually a fruit press are you going to look up things as you go or are you gonna put things in your cart and look them up later this place wasn't busy enough that I really had to worry about making sure I got it in the cart first and then look it up later um, I still do that sometimes and even on this video um, some of the times I'll stop and turn off the camera and look something up. Look, a tree stand, and that's probably vintage. I grew up with one like that. And this is like a huge tarp or a tent that somebody took out of the bag. Oh, look, there's a giant size Olaf, but I already have two of those that have it sold, so we're not going to take those either. There are some people that go to the bins and they dig all the way down to the bottom of every single bin because the small earrings are going to fall down there. Any money is going to fall down there to the bottom. 
um, buttons are going to fall to the bottom and one gentleman this would be a nice place for a sticker and one gentleman I met not here um, that's what he does he goes all the way to the bottom to make sure he has seen absolutely everything in that bin and he says he has found some gold some silver some money I'd like to find some money at the bins there's a wreath there's a little cow I thought maybe he was a squishable he's not a squishable he's a push the hand and make have it make sounds but it doesn't make sounds look there's some wooden cut out letters a tiki a tiki lamp is that a tiki lamp no that's um it is a tiki lamp but it's a lamp that you plug in <laughs> More rabbits and bears, more stuffed animals. And you really should know what the pay structure is when you go to a Goodwill. Don't do it the way I do it and go in and not know how they do it because I don't know how they do it until I get up to the cash register. So instead of telling you now, you can hear it at the end after I find out. This, I couldn't figure, oh, it's a step. Now I know what it is. I was like, what is this thing? And part of a game, there were backpacks that were brand new, that were clear, that had all the primary colors on it, that had a um, preschool or daycare name on it. And there's pillows. And I don't know what that is. It looks, from here, it looks like a porta potty This is a light fixture and I have sold light fixtures before and they can sell for very good money and if there isn't good money in it I'm gonna keep it and look there's a ottoman in the middle of a packing tupper I call them packing tuppers look an ice cube tray ooh a foot soak with those little watery bead things in them and I didn't, couldn't figure out what these were. I couldn't read the tag, and they looked like strips of bamboo. They weren't molding because they weren't flat on one side. So I decided not to get them. And that looks like it's going in my bag, but it doesn't stay very long. One of the things you can do when you go to the bins um, and another way that bins are different is some bins do not allow you to bring your own bags in. And some do. Mine in Indiana, no food, no drinks, no bags, no big backpacks, no animals. So, um, you can always pick up bags when you're there. This is a beautiful little carpet. I think I'll take it home, see if Amanda wants it. That Goodwill was so much fun. It is probably the biggest Goodwill I've ever been in. And, you know, like I've been in maybe three. Um, they had like a whole room just for books and they had a whole nother area just for clothes and then the kitchenware stuff. And then they had stuff up at the front set on shelves that they had prices on. Now this Goodwill does price things differently than mine does, as I said. Um, the one in Indiana is $1.89 a pound. This Goodwill was $1.39 a pound. And if you had glass, it was like 35 cents a piece. And if you had large items, I got those two um, lamps that had the, the glass in the middle with the green leaves on it. Um, I got both of those. I got each of those for $3 a piece. And the small lamp that I got, they just weighed because it was small. But the light fixture that I got, instead of them weighing it, they said they do glass separately at a different price because it's heavy. So I got it for 39 cents a pound. So for, I got Remanda three bags, I got me two for a bag and a carry bag and a purse and I got three carpets um, 
I got an Oster. I did get the uh, find an Oster base, and I I've already sold one of those. I know those will sell for about thirty dollars. Um, I got a new curry because I went home not working. Um, there was some stuff that it's loud here in the city. Um, I did get some stuff that will be for resale that we will cover completely when um, I do the haul. And if there's anything else that I got for myself or anything, I did get some stuff for the shop, but that's about it. And of course, thank you so much for coming along. We appreciate you spending your time with us, us, with me, but it's still mine and Amanda's channel, so it's always going to be we. <laughs> And thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, thank you for subscribing, hit that bell so you get notified when the new videos come out. And know that you are blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day.